<laughs> master of ceremony, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests, this is a very common monologue given by some of the semi successful parents to their children. I'm not saying uh, any of those kind of parents are here, but I've definitely heard a lot of parents. You know, revisiting their past and recording the most horrific events from it in front of their children. Some of those may be real, but many are fabricated. And almost all of them exaggerated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even if they were real, I don't know what glory they get out of the fact that their past was tense not going to make their present perfect. I call this habit of repeatedly visiting the past a disease. I have even coined a term for it. I call it hysteriophilia. And people suffering from this disease, hysteriophiles. Because they not only love to live in their past, but their repeated references to it creates a perfectly avoidable hysteria among the children at home. I also belong to that generation. I have two young boys, both about 20. We didn't have a TV when, we, when I was a young boy. So on the dinner table, we didn't watch TV. We talked. For the lack of choices, that's all you can do. You can talk. So we talked. Frankly speaking, it was awkward. I still feel that I wish we had TV then. If I didn't have a cycle, if I had to walk to school, <coughs> It was my bad luck. I didn't like it. I actually hated it. But if I were a stereophile, I would glorify this past predicament in front of my children. Look, son, when I was your age, we did not have air conditioning in the home. So we sprayed water on the curtains <laughs> during the summertime and sat around the fireplace during winters. Sometimes it would get so cold that we'd not be able to sleep in the night. We have tough times. You are living in air-conditioned home. They will tell the children as if they're doing a big favor to them by providing them better living conditions. Children didn't ask you to put ACs in their home. They were not even responsible for the sad state of your affairs at your, uh, during your childhood. If anyone was, if anyone was, it was your parents. Maybe constrained by their own circumstances, but certainly not your children. But you could not go and complain to your parents, because if you went and complained to them, they would say, Look, son, when I was your age, we did not even have electricity. We studied under the lamppost. You know, we did not have blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah. blah. <laughs> and mind you, you didn't climb trees because you considered eating fresh food a virtue. You climbed because you loved monkeying around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except you were a kid too. And if you played hopscotch and marbles under the sun, it was because that's all you had. 
besides your limited imaginations. Today's children have options. Options give them imaginations. Imaginations give them versatility. And versatility gives them wings. <coughs> Not Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because our ancestors created fire using flames doesn't mean we have to do the same. Today, the children have got options to play on Xbox. And you know, a 12 year old plays such games on Xbox that we don't even understand. A two year old flips through the screens of tab with such an ease that we were not even able to focus our eyes when we were two year olds. Mm -hmm. We have to accept that this generation is smarter than ours. That's the natural process of evolution. Our generation was smarter than our previous generation. By and large. <laughs> there are some Einsteins as well. <laughs> the previous one. But that's how we progress. If each generation isn't smarter than the previous generation, the process of development would stop. We are fortunate that we are seeing in our lifetime some of the things that our previous generation had not even imagined. So today's children need encouragement. Today's children need inspiration. Today's children need the freedom to dream. They certainly don't need the horrific stories of your past that you cannot be proud of. Over to you,